and click on what add message type okay sender is what send what is that 630 send who is the receiver now 630 rcv2 what is the message type mat pass that let me save it so you can observe here for this sender we have two receivers one is 630 rcv another is what 630 rcv2 630 rcv2 done let me save it go back model is also uh, created with one sender and what two receivers then we require the partner profile for the sender let me cross check i require the port number one port is for first receiver another port is for second receiver so if you go to w21 i can create the port number okay under trfc what is the existing port 76 i think Seventy-five, seventy-six. Not this. This one. Seventy-five. This is the port which is created on the first RSV destination. I require what? One more port. Let me create one more port. So this is first port, seventy-five. I'll choose TRFC. Click on Create. I want the system to generate the port number. It has generated seventy-seven. So I'll choose port number from eight hundred to what? Eight hundred to What eight eleven? What is the RSV destination? Six thirty. I have dust underscore eight eleven. The second RSV destination. Let me save it. Yeah, one more port got created. One is seventy five. Another is what seventy seven. Seventy five and what seventy seven? Done. We require the what partner profile for the sender. We require the partner profile sender. Okay, so for this sender we have two receivers now, so I need to create two partner profiles. So I'll go to W20. Only one partner profile is available. What is that? 630 RECV is already created. This is a message type, and this I've been referring to which port number is 75. This is already done. I have to create one more partner profile because this sender has got what two receivers. So I'll choose what partner type unless click on what create. Who is the second partner here? 630 RECV2. What is the partner type? LS. Provide the username. US indicates username. Provide the username here. Done. So the second partner will be created. 630 RECV2. For this 630 RECV2, I require what? One more outbound parameter. I require outbound parameter. So just click on create outbound parameter. What is the message type? NAT mask. And what is the port here? Earlier 75, now it is 77. What is the IDOC type? Mat pass 05. Let me save it. Okay, I need to choose the radio button. What transfer IDOC immediately? Let me save it. Done. Okay, so two partner profiles are created because this sender has got what two receivers. Then let me close this. I log on to the first receiver. I will log on to the first receiver that is 810. Let me cross check the partner profile. 810. Yeah, what is this? I'll cross check the partner profile by going to W20. What is that here? 630 RE 630 send. I'll just choose this. Yes, it's already there. Then I have to check the inbound parameter. Yes, it's already there. So this is fine. This is fine. Let me go to the second receiver, which is 811. I'll just choose this. What is this? Done. So for this partner also, I have to create the partner profile. So I'll go to W20. Who is the partner for this receiver? Sender. So as usual, just click on Create. Who is the partner? The sender. Who is that? 630 send. Unless provide the user ID. Done. And for this partner also, I have to create the inbound parameters. So just scroll down. I have to create the inbound parameters. So just choose this. Then message type is what? Matmas. What is the process code? M A T M. M A T M. That's all. Then save it. So 
all the configurations are done all the configuration is done done let me close this now go back to our sender site go to the sender site done so if any segment filtering is there i'll remove it so i'll go to bd56 i'll remove the segment filter anything is there yes there here let me delete this i don't want to do any segment filtering i'm just deleting the segment filter done save it now let me create quickly some materials i'll create some materials now quickly in center side mm01 i'll give the material number as something 613 map 30 done raw material i'll choose basic data one continue Right, I'll give the description. Base unit of mere is what kg saved. Material will be what uh, created. Material will be created. I'll create another material 630 mat 31. Okay, I'll give the industry sector. Stuck as the industry sector as chemical industry. I'll give this as something finished product done. I'll choose basic data one continue. Provide the description 613 mat 31 base return mail dot kg done. Let me save it. So two materials I want to distribute 630 mat 30, 630 mat 31. Now I'll go to our BD 10. Right, what are the materials? 630 mat 30 is one material. 630 mat 30 is one material. Then here I'll give what? 630 mat 31. We have two materials here. Done. Okay, message that is mapped first. Logical systems. It will take it. How many receivers are there? Two receivers. One is 630 RECV. Another is what 630 RECV 2. 630 RECV 2. Done. I'll just click on what? Execute. Two mass dry docks. Because we are distributing two materials, so two mass dry docks. How many receivers are there? Two receivers. So see here, I would get four here. Yeah, four communication adopts. Two materials into two receivers. Four communication adopts. Done. Go and check it in W02. Execute this. Yeah, see the time here. This is the time here. Yeah, you can see 630 RECV, 630 RECV2, 630 RECV, 630 RECV. Just now. Okay, this is the server time. Okay, so overall four communication arcs are generated because we have two materials, so two into two receivers. They are successfully distributed at the sender side. Okay, no errors here. Now, if you go to the first client. Let me go to the first client. What is this? 810. What is this? About 19. It's the best. So on so. Go to W02. Execute this. Yeah, you can see the time here. Here also 637. Two IDOCs are received in what? What? Green status. Means successfully received and what? Posted. Now you can go and check it in the other client also. So let me go to other client, which is what? 811. Done. I'll go to W02. Yes, here also you can see it. Two IDOCs are issued in what? Successful state and they are posted. So the process is what? Same. So what you have to understand is how many logical systems, how many RSV destinations. The number of logical systems depends on number of systems involved in communication. Number of RFC destination depends on number of receivers. Here we have two receivers, so we require two RFC destinations. And number of ports, we require what? 
depends on what number of receivers. Since you have two receivers, we have created what two port numbers. The rest of thing is what same. Process is what same. Like this, we can distribute the IDOX to what multiple receivers. So I am having the detailed steps for that. I'll document that and I'll send it to email. You can practice the same thing. Any questions, please ask me. Madan, are you speaking? Uh, your voice is not audible. Oh, is it? Uh, yes. Yesterday I was miss. Uh, I was speaking. So yeah. I have a quick question. Sorry if I have. I may have missed it, but uh, I would like to no. get clarified. So. No. We generated two master IDOX and four communication IDOX, right? Correct. So we were able to see four communication IDOX. Do we, we will we be able to see those two master IDOX also? Or no, no. master IDOX, no, they are not stored at the database level. They are stored okay. internally. We cannot see them physically. Okay, okay. So we cannot. Also. What are we seeing? W02, they are communication IDOX. Those adducts we can see there, or we can see in the relevant tables EDI DC, EDI D2, and EDI DS. Okay, okay. Only, only communication, not master. Okay, okay Siddharth, thank you on that. Any other doubts, sirs? Okay, so I'll send the detailed notes, everything. We'll continue again on what Monday. We we'll continue on, on Monday. We'll see other scenario on what this IDOX. Okay. Chalala. So, minding off, we'll meet again on Monday for this concepts.